Ladies and gentlemen, another Nintendo Switch competitor has popped up in the wild. That's right, another handheld gaming console. Since the Switch first launched, we have seen a bunch of these things pop up. This one is a little different, and I'm wondering, can this compete with a Nintendo Switch? Let's break it down. My name is Robot Joe, and I'm your host as always. Let's go ahead and get started. That's right, yet another handheld gaming console has popped up, but this one does kind of has some stuff going for it. So we're going to break it down and see can it compete with a Nintendo Switch. But first, guys, the end of this month I start streaming on Twitch, so down below is the link. Follow my Twitch, don't miss the first stream coming up at the end of this month. We're going to give away a bunch of Nintendo gift cards, and we're going to have a lot of fun hanging out. Now, let's get into this video. So the handheld console is called the Lenovo Legion Go. You know, with the Steam Deck being so popular and a bunch of just handheld gaming consoles actually doing really, really well and being really well made, it was inevitable that another one would pop up. But look at this one, ladies and gentlemen. So at the first glance, it kind of looks like a child of a Switch and a Steam Deck. Um, the Joy-Cons do look like a little bit fatter right here. Recently, I was sent a controller by a company, like a Switch Pro controller competitor, and the Joy-Cons looked exactly like this. They had RGB underneath. So far, it doesn't have a lot going for it, but it looks nice enough. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the meat and potatoes. It has detachable Joy-Cons. Does it look more like a Switch right now? I'm thinking so. Detachable Joy-Cons. But one would argue that this takes the joy out of the Joy-Cons. These are in fact just cons. And con means convict. This device has a criminal record. Can it be trusted? Alright, we're completely off track right now. Um, the device is speculated to use AMD's Ryzen 740 Phoenix series chipset. Legion Go is said to offer an 8 inch touchscreen with fairly thin bezels, though there's no mention of the resolution or refresh rate for now. I would guess maybe 1080p, right? I would assume coming out in 2023 or whenever this is coming out, 1080p would probably be the standard moving forward. The IO is pretty impressive with a micro SD card slot, headphone jack, power and volume buttons, and a USB-C port on top of the device. The bottom houses a secondary USB-C port, so two USB-C ports. Very odd, but probably good. Another thing that looks influenced by the Nintendo Switch, a kickstand. And this one is like the one on the Switch OLED. These do look kind of fat, um, the back, but I probably would assume it's more comfortable. I have pretty big hands and the Switch does get uncomfortable in my hands after a while. The back of the device features a built-in kickstand with Legion branding and what appears to be heat exhaust above it. There is an extensive array of buttons with all the standard ones but also M1 and M2 shoulder buttons with the latter extending to the sides of the device. So that would be right here. Wouldn't that get clicked by accident when you're playing? I don't, I don't think that is the best idea myself. I don't know. That's probably a miss in my opinion. So what do we know so far? Detachable Joy-Cons, an 8-inch screen, probably has Windows 11, uh, a kickstand. Not bad. I was curious, what is the Switch OLED specs? I have the Switch OLED specs pulled up right here. Is it saying the weight of the Switch with Joy-Cons is not even a pound? 0.93 pounds? Is that what that means? Actually, I actually have a Switch right here behind me. This feels like it weighs more than a pound. I don't, dude, that's crazy. If that is true, I'm not sure. So we have the switch screen, which is touch screen, seven inch OLED. That's another thing. Will that other device have an OLED screen or LCD? The switch docked is 1080, but handheld 720. Now looking at this and going back, I am curious. Can this thing be docked? Maybe this doesn't charge while it's docked. That's why they have two USB-C cords. So you have one to dock it and maybe another one to charge it. Can we see anything on the back here? Um, oh, right here. Okay, we can see the top. So we have the headphone jack. I'm assuming the power button. Are these uh, USB ports right here? That's strange if they are. There's too many going on. What the hell is this? Um, yeah, I don't know. This thing is... Uh, let's look at the Joy-Cons more. Wow. Look at this right here. So there was a rumor that the Switch Pro would have like these little wheels on the Joy-Cons. And people were wondering, how the hell would that work? Maybe exactly like this. I'm actually now assuming that the next Nintendo console will in fact have those little wheels on the Joy-Cons. Uh, it also looks like there's a button right here when it's detached. Yeah, I'm very curious. There is a lot going on here. This makes me very um, curious about the next Nintendo console now because if all this is coming out on this console, well, what the hell would the Switch Pro be or the Switch 2? And all these companies are copying what the Switch is now or trying to add on to it. When the Switch Pro comes out, all these other devices are in fact going to get better. I'm actually very, very excited now for the future of handheld gaming. 
Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about all this? Do you think this could compete with the Nintendo Switch? One thing that the Switch always will have going for it is its first party IPs. Yes, you might be able to make a device that is better, but it can never recapture the charm of a Nintendo console because it's not just a console you're playing, you're playing everything that has came with that console, the history of that brand. I've always wanted a Steam Deck, I have not got one yet, but maybe this would be something cool to get into. As you guys know, I'm going to start streaming on Twitch soon, so I have to buy a PC and I have to learn about that whole world because I've never had a PC my whole life. I edit all of my videos on a MacBook Air and I've always just used Mac. So I'm, I'm very excited to learn the world of PC and I'm very excited to learn about consoles like this. Below, drop your comments. Below is also the description for my Twitch. Go over there and follow it now. Do not miss these first streams coming the end of the month. I cannot wait to hang out with this community. It's seriously going to be so fun. You guys know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out. <laughs>